So I saw a few other videos online of people melting gold, small amounts of gold, with a torch. I had a torch lying around, so I thought, why not give it a crack myself? The very first thing I had to do was weigh, out my, weigh myself out a one gram of gold. Uh, they're sort of chunkyish bits, uh, not as fine as I could have used, but I was just a little worried of them being blown out of the by the pressure of the, the flame coming out of the torch. Here I just put the gold next to a couple of coins just so you could get a bit of a size comparison. So I didn't have an actual crucible or melting pot or anything like that to use. Uh, but what I did have was just a chunk of graphite that I used for previous purposes. But all I did was carve out a little circular depression inside the graphite and then just sanded it back a little bit so it looked nice and presentable. <laughs> So I didn't want to have to purchase anything to do this little project. This was just a bit of fun that I just thought up, um, just came across and did it on a bit of a whim. So I just used what I had. I had this map replacement torch. Not sure if it was adequate, perhaps it wasn't in the end, but this is what I had and this is what I used. I've also edited this whole torching process down. Uh, I knew I had to be patient and I knew it might take a while. And I ended up having the flame on the gold for about 15 minutes. Uh, after that I decided it wasn't going to happen, but yeah, I edited this way down because there's no need to watch that whole process for something that didn't work. At about seven minutes in, maybe halfway through the whole bit firing process, uh, we definitely saw some action happening. You see the top of the gold starting to melt, a little pool a little bit, go a bit shiny on those little bits. Um, I thought we were looking good at this point, I thought we were going to have a successful melt, but uh, apparently not. Here you can see what it looked like after I just took the flame off. But before I could really get into it, I just had to quench it. So just had a pan with some water lying next to it. Dunked that in real quick. Quite the sizzle. Alright, so now that's cooled down a bit, I can grab that. Time to pick it up, pop it up here, and we'll inspect our... inspect the damage. <laughs> See, it's all sort of stuck together into a, a bit of a puck. I think that was somewhat because of the melting that we had slight on the top layer, and also probably mostly because of the borax. Um, well, I don't know how well you can see, but you can see a couple of those shiny rounded bits. It definitely started to melt, but never never got all the way. Wasn't able to maintain the heat or get high enough heat throughout the whole thing. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. We have it. There's another fail. Oh well, I'm not too fast. We learn from our mistakes, we learn from our failures. And I'm sure by posting this online I'm going to have a lot of people telling me what it, what to do, what I did wrong, how to have success next time, so... Yeah, I'm happy to post this up online and say, please hit me with all the advice. Tell me how to get it right next time. Tell me what I need to do. Not sure what the problem was this time, whether it was gas just doesn't get hot enough, that flame, uh, whether the crucible or the little melting thing I made with the graphite wasn't good enough or whether it needs to be more insulated. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm sure everyone will give me the advice. So thanks for watching and keep an eye out for my next video and hit the like button and subscribe as well. See ya.